In this quick tip video, I'd like to show you how to automatically edit music to your cut and duck the music to dialogue or voiceover from Premiere Pro in Adobe Audition. I create a ton of content that is simply voiceover and a music track. Doing an audio mix and editing music to dialogue is a few extra steps. Plus, I like to add ducking, which is lowering the music when the voiceover is speaking and raising the audio when there is no voiceover. Adobe Audition has an ingenious solution to automatically edit music using AI. It's called Remix. Here's a Premiere Pro sequence. I'll set the music to the maximum volume I'd like it to have when there is no voiceover speaking. In this case, around minus 12 dB. I'll select the sequence and send it to Audition. Audition will open up a multi-track sequence. I'll right-click on the music track and choose Remix, Enable Remix. Audition will analyze the file. It's looking for opportunities to edit and loop portions of the music. There are remix options available now for the track if you need to dial in specific durations or loop lengths, but I've actually never strayed from the defaults since it works so well. Next, I'll go to the music track. A remix icon is now at the end of the waveform. I'll simply drag it to the length I need, in this case, the end of the program. Next, in the essential sound panel, I'll tag the music track as music and the voiceover as dialogue. I'll check the ducking box to turn it on. I'll leave it set to duck the music against the dialog. Remember I set my maximum value already to minus 12 dB. When the voiceover is speaking, I'd like the music to decrease to around minus 20 dB, so I'll set the duck amount to minus 8 dB. The default fades amount of 800 milliseconds is a bit too slow for me, so I'll set that to 500 milliseconds or half a second. I'll export this session to Premiere Pro. I'll choose Export Each Track as a Stem so it will bounce out two files for me, Music and VoiceOver. This will move us over to Premiere Pro. I'd like to retain my original edits, so I'll add the stems to a new audio track and simply mute the originals just in case I need to make changes later. And that's as easy as it gets. It took me longer to explain it than it actually takes real time. And I hope these quick tips save you tons of time as well. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects. And if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com. Subscribe to this channel for more great videos every week.